Okay guys, so this is where I hold um, a lot of my makeup. So up here I have like drugstore blushes, here I have drugstore eyeshadows, here I have some palettes, um, here I have face products, here I have concealers and more face products, um, here I have some bags full of like my backups, and then down here I have some new lip products eye products that I haven't opened yet and then down here I have eyelashes and mascaras over here I have some pigments then I also have some cream products here and then these two drawers have some backup type things uh, over here are some of my opened lip products but yeah I'm not gonna show you guys my whole collection because that would just go on for days and it's a little bit embarrassing because I already know that people probably don't need this much makeup. Hey everybody, this video is going to be my introduction to the Project Tin Pan. I decided to try to do my own version of Project Tin Pan because I need to use up a lot of my makeup. I have an over the top collection which I'm a little bit embarrassed about but it is my hobby. I love finding deals. And I'm not going to do a no buy. I know some people do Project 10 Pan where they're not allowed to buy any makeup until they've used up 10 products. Well, I already know that I cannot do that. Uh, I did the 100 days of no makeup in 2013 and it was pretty tough. I didn't like it. And then I also tried to do Make Out 2013 and I failed at that. So instead of doing something like that to myself, I just decided to gather up a bunch of products that I thought you know what, use these up, just concentrate on using these up, but I'm still allowed to pick from my collection things that I want to use. When I was picking these items out, I was thinking about items that I don't really use, except for foundation. I use these foundations, but it takes a really long time when you have as many as I do um, to go through them. So for foundations, I really shouldn't buy any more until I finish these up. I picked eyeshadows and blushes that I think would go bad sooner because they're cream products or I just don't reach for them as often. And then for my mascaras, I picked out ones that were not opened yet. I'm pretty good at using mascara, but I have so many unopened mascaras that, and some of these I even have backups of, so I thought, you know what, I should really use these up. So I'll go ahead and get started with the mascaras. Uh, the first one that I picked to use up is this Maybelline Lash Discovery. All of my mascaras are waterproof. I already know that I really like this and I am, I'm going to be hauling two more of these because I bought backups. So I thought since I have two backups of these, I better use up one. The next item that I also want to use is the Maybelline Falsies. I also have a backup of this, so I should definitely open that up and use it up. And then the L'Oreal Double Extend Eye Illuminator. I think I'll probably be opening this one up pretty soon. And then I also grabbed the CoverGirl Lash Exact. I like this, I remember. I like all of those. Actually, I've never tried the Double Extend, but I usually like L'Oreal's. Oh, this is not waterproof, so maybe I won't like this one. We'll see. And then on to my lip products. I grabbed three of the Revlon Super Lustrous lip balms. I have quite a few of these, but I picked these three colors to use up. I'm going to mark all the products that I need to finish off by 2014 with a dot with this, this nail polish. I'm just going to put a dot of nail polish on top of everything that I need to use up just so that I know that I have to finish these off. And then I'm going to catalog them all into an Excel spreadsheet. And every time I finish something off, I can check it off. And I'll either update you guys in future empties videos. Maybe I'll mention, oh, this is a Project Tim Pan item. But yeah, there's quite a few, so... Ugh. So three of these Revlon lip glosses that I need to finish up. This Napoleon Purdy lip gloss is a little bit old, so I should be tossing that soon. This Cargo Blu-ray. I should definitely toss this one out, but it has been my HG lip gloss and I've been trying to find a color match for it. I haven't found one, but I guess I should let go of it soon. So let's see if I can do that in 2014. I'm also going to try to use up this Olme 
liquid lip balm and this is in the shade Lilac Love. Uh, I received a backup of this in a swap and then I also bought this when it was really cheap at CVS. So since I have two backups, I should really try to finish this one off. And then I'm going to try to finish off this CoverGirl Lip Perfection in... There is no shade. I'm not a fan of the smell of these. They're not as nice as the Revlon Just Bitten, or what do they call Revlon something? I didn't put any Revlon Jumbo um, lip thingies that are in this format into my Project Tin Pan because I reach for those all the time anyway. The point of the Project Tin Pan for me is to finish off things that I'm not showing enough love to or I have too many backups already. I grabbed this NYC Glossy Lip Balm. This is in Big Apple Red. I actually really like this. I got this from Influencer. It smells like apple and it's really hydrating, but I just, I guess I just don't show enough love to it. And then I also grabbed the Sleek Glossed Lip Gloss, and this doesn't have the number or the name on it. It fell off or something. And then the Ulta Tinted Lip Balm, and this is in the color Raisin. This one has a slightly floral scent and just a faint little color. So yeah, that is how many lip products that I need to finish up. Quite a few, huh? It's okay because lip products do go bad, so we should finish them off. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten. I know I have quite a few um, color tattoos, and I don't want to just throw them all away at the end of the year if I don't use them. But I did grab one because I noticed that it's starting to get a little bit dry, and this is Tough as Taupe. Uh, it's the only matte one that I own, um, so I better start using it because it's starting to get a little bit dry. So one color tattoo. Okay, are we ready to move on to foundations? It is a little bit scary, and don't judge, please don't judge. Um, I'm almost done with this Revlon Color Stay Whipped in 370 Natural Tan. This is a little bit too dark for me, so sometimes I mix it with my lighter foundations or I use it to contour. I want to finish off my Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, and this is in number 23. This one is about halfway done as well. I would really love to finish off this NYX Liquid Makeup, and I'm wearing this today, and this is in the shade Sand Beige. And then I would like to finish off these two Revlon Age Defying Foundations in Honey Beige and Golden Beige. I'm more than halfway done with these two. See, the problem is that before I finish it, like when I get to about a halfway point, I start getting the urge of wanting to try something new. So that's why I have all these half used up foundations. I would really love to finish off these two color stay foundations in Rich Tan and Early Tan. They're too dark for me for sure which is probably why I still have half of each of these. I would like to finish off this Shu Umera Face Architect, and this is in the color 554. I really love this foundation. I think I was just saving it because it's high-end. I tend to do that with my high-end foundations. And then I have these two Bobbi Brown foundation sticks, and they are in Warm Natural and Natural Tan. I really should try to use these. So how many foundations do I need to use up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is that for real? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, wow. I have ten foundations. They're not all full though. They're all about half empty. I just need to work on actually using them up. And I think for foundations, I'm going to tell myself that I'm not allowed to buy any more until these are done. Oh, eye products. So I grabbed these Bundle Monster Jumbo Eye Pencils because I really didn't grab for them once I did the review on them, so I will try to use these up this year. Uh, the problem with them is that they kind of blend away after you put them onto your... Yeah, so they go on really pigmented, but then once you blend them, it kind of goes away. So you probably need to layer, and I think I experienced some creasing with these. Uh, and then I grabbed the Color of Grace. This is by Philosophy, and this is their eyeshadow duo in Heaven Earth. Pretty colors, but they're a little bit muddy, so this one might end up getting tossed away. And then I grabbed the L'Oreal True Match Gentle Mineral Concealer in Light Medium. I have this in my emergency bag, my emergency makeup bag that I carry around with me, but I just 
never need to use powder concealer while I'm out and about. Okay, so moving on to blushes and bronzers. So for blushes, I grabbed the e.l.f. HD Blush in Superstar. I received this recently in a swap. Um, and then the NYX, I really love this, but it's a cream product, so I really should try to use it up this year. Cream Blush in Hot Pink. And then the L'Oreal Blush in, this is the Magic Souffle in Angelic. I actually really like this. Um, this is great for the winter time, so I've been trying to use this a lot right now. And then the Cover Girl and Olay Simply Ageless in Lush Berry. I have this on today. This has a lot of product in it, but I can already tell that it's starting to get dry and cracked, so gotta use that ASAP. Two NYC Cream Blushable Sticks. I think these have been discontinued, but I should really try to use them up. I've been using this one in Urban Spice to do some contouring. Uh, I just put it on my cheeks and then blend it out with a brush. I actually have discovered that I quite like that. I uh, haven't really shown that much love to the one in South St. Seashell, but I will try to do that. The two powders that I own right now that I would like to finish that I don't grab for as often are the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder in Cool and the Revlon Color Stay in Medium. I used both of these today, actually. I have one more face product. This is the Balm Staniac, and this is in Drama Queen or... Or something like that I forget I don't know where the name of it is maybe it was on the wrapping but I have two backups of this so I better use this up I really like it and that's why I have the backups of it I tend to do that which is probably not a good idea but it's just a habit that I have that I should probably try to kick um, so for the bronzers that I have I didn't put the bronzers that I use all the time in Project Tin Pan because I grab for them all the time anyway so I grabbed the Happy Booster and this is fairly new this is the one with the little hearts in it, the beads. It's kind of messy, but I want to try to use that. And then the Bourjois Bronzing Primer. This one is like a like a souffle, and because it is a cream, I thought better try to use this one up. I'm going to try to use up this Palladio in Luminous Bronze. And then because I have a backup of this Revlon Photo Ready Bronze and Chic, I want to use this up. And then I also put the Physician's Formula Healthy Wear in Medium in here as well. I'm going to go through, dot everything with my nail polish so that I know what exactly I need to finish off quite a bit. Feel free to join me if you want to. I don't think that other people need to finish off makeup in the way that I feel like I need to do this project this year. I feel like my project last year was the monthly makeup baskets and this year is going to be Project 10 Pan. If you guys want to participate in your own version of Project 10 Pan, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing. I would love to hear what your makeup usage goals are. Thank you all for watching and see you throughout the year. Okay guys, this is kind of embarrassing, but here's my table, my filming table of stuff, and I have gone through and dotted the items that I want to use up. I just need to wait for the nail polish to dry. Um, over here are my mascaras that I want to use up. Um, I didn't open them yet, so I just dotted the outside packaging. Maybe uh, when I actually open them, I will dot them again. But there you have it. Thank you guys for joining me on my Project Tin Pan, my own personal version of it. And um, hope you enjoyed watching.